How how did you feel in the history of Jiu Jitsu? Jiu Jitsu comes from Japan, goes to Brazil, goes to Carlos Gracie and Helio Gracie, stays in Brazil. Many years later, Hickson Gracie brings the Jiu Jitsu that was forgotten to Japan. Did you feel there was something like kind of almost reconnected you or reconnected Jiu Jitsu? Because you brought what they say, this was the Jiu Jitsu we forgot. Now, Hickson Grace is in Japan doing the fights. How was that connection with you personally to Japan? Because I think it was a land that brought to us so many amazing memories, seeing you fighting, see you showing the arts, see you showing all these outlets that you have chance to show the world. From the day one, become all those little challenges to the top of the world. Yeah, I mean, after we come into the US, after Horion promote the UFC, after the UFC explode through the world, and I've been invited to go to Japan, I felt like going to Japan was maybe the highest level of appreciation of Jiu-Jitsu because bringing back such a, in a, such a high level, the art. So the first thing I did when I win the first tournament was thank you, Japan, to give, you, to, give to Brazilians the, the art of Jiu-Jitsu through Conde Coma. And now I feel like very, very happy to bring back so I acknowledge that, I make that statement to acknowledge Jiu-Jitsu is a Japanese art which being trained and refined in Brazil but f find his way back to Japan in order to just... And could not be better represented. Yes, because without the conscience, without the purpose of that, I've been preparing myself and my personal Bushido which is the code of the samurai. So when I been there to bring Jiu-Jitsu back, I also bring things I didn't know, like celebration of when you win, a celebration, a big celebration. I did not celebrate because I felt like it was nothing to celebrate. I win today, I can lose tomorrow. So it's just one day on the, on the job. It's nothing for say, oh, if I was my last fight, maybe celebration, but not. So in the Japanese felt this as a perfect conduct for a fighter was not so the fact that using white all the samurais before they, they be, before they put the armor they use a white cloth to, to just underneath yeah it's like a spiritual thing so i was using a dark a, a white uh, yeah speedo or, speedo yeah, yeah. yeah the fact the fact i was having a little mercy from the guy who was already blind in the eye and, and I don't want to punch him, I want to win with techniques, shows compassion, shows... So in the Japanese, different than the other countries, they observe the character of the fighter. It's not just the blows and the sensational aspect. So they observe your personality, what you say, how you act after and before the fight. And I was fulfilling their expectations and representing the code of a, a good samurai the way I explain, the way I, my, my personal conduct. And that's immediately creates some kind of very special relationship between my personality, myself, my jiu-jitsu, and the Japanese audience. So it was know, a they, great... They was love a great, you over there yeah. for who you are. Yes. And I think all of them realize that it is something different about this person. It's not just a fighter. It's someone who respectfully brought back to Japan the Jiu-Jitsu that born there. I think also a much better version of the Jiu-Jitsu. But that's why I go back to Japan today and it's kind of... Yeah, uh, it's the same sensation. But the thing is, after Japan, Japan lost the war, all their pride, all the, the samurai instinct, come on, they broke their sword, you know, they just lost their spirit. And uh, my appearance there give them a good sense of the spirit is back. Never die. It, it never dies. It, it's, a, it's, it's more than just a broken sword. It's, it's the attitude. It's the way they see. They can, I give a good example of how you should be 
the new samurai, no, not weapons, but believing in yourself. I think it's more like and, a modern time. Yes. You show that to them that uh, with the past, they can have a better future. Yes. That was never forgotten. And was very inspiring for them. And I was trying to find out and, and understand that the fact that living in Brazil and coming to America, and I think is how is that work on your mind 